What is up everybody? Okay, so today is a really cool day. Dad's friend Jack is here and Jack runs Precision Machine, the machine shop that my Camaro motor has been at. So today we get to start building the motor for my Camaro. So we put the crank in and put all the caps on and made sure everything fit good and now we gotta put the pistons and rods in. See on the most GMs, tangs always go to the outside. See this cylinder is back here, so the large radius goes to the fillet of the crankshaft. And also look at your piston. This is your dome part or your spark plug side and the valve reliefs always go to the inside. Okay. Unless it's a 464. Nice cozy piston. Nice. How can you take it too? It's easier if I do it, the way I don't mash your finger. I lift up on it like this and then it just goes right in. Cool. So this is Jack, he helped me build my motor, his machine shop, Precision, Mach Precision Machine. Uh, 
mind board and did everything so that the block is good to go. Do you want to talk about what you did to the block and everything a little bit? The block started out, we did a cleaning on it. We actually checked everything. We boarded 30 over, flying home the mains to the split, and decked it where he's about 15 in the hole and make him a real good street motor. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you for teaching me how to do it and getting it done. And he did build it. Next time we've got to put the oil pan on and we're gonna be, he's going to be back and we'll put the heads and the camshaft and everything on and in it. So the motor is over here in the corner. It is going to be living here for the next few weeks until I get back and we do the heads and camshaft and everything. I got to find a spot for my little welding part. But before I end this video, I want to kind of go over what is going on and what has been done on this up here. But I'm going to do that tomorrow because we have to find a pallet jack to move all these boxes of forging so that I can actually get the car down. What's up everybody? Last night we built the short block with Jack and before I end this video I want to kind of do a walkthrough of everything that has been done on this Camaro so far. Alright, so the first thing you might notice is there is a big hole in the floor. So I'm going to get out of the car and kind of show you from that angle because it'll be a lot easier to talk about. So in one of the first videos, that door was stuck, so that door's been unstuck, this door's good to go, all the glass and everything's been cleaned, and right now it's a mess because I haven't gotten to work on it in a few months, but yeah, here we go. Alright, so behind the car, you open the door and walk in, and there's a big hole in the floor. So what we first did is we started out, there was a big hole in the shifter tunnel. You might have seen it in the previous videos that we patched and filled, and that's all good to go. And then this floor pan was rotten from here all the way up to here. So we've got the replacement floor pan, and hopefully soon, Ray is going to come and help me finish putting this in. And then back here, we're also going to have to replace this back floor pan because there's a bunch of holes and it's rotted out. Then we come around to the black and the trunk's been popped. So in here I need to finish wire wheeling and cleaning that and I need to primer it. There's a kit on Classic Industries that I'm going to buy so that we can do that. And then there's not really a whole lot else I've done. We did the tunnel and then I've taken out a bunch of the dash stuff. And then in the back room there was a bunch of stuff that was in the trunk that I took out that I need to go through and organize. is a quick overview of what all's been done to the Camaro. Hopefully soon, I've been talking with Ray, he's gonna get to come back and help me finish the floor pan plan. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.